Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, Tiana here. If you are new, let me just start off by saying that we are in April. Where is like the first quarter of the year is already done. Like, and y'all thought January was long? Nah, it was not long at all to me. January went by really fast. We're already in April. We're already about to hit summer. My birthday is tomorrow. Like, this is crazy. 2018 just started. Like, can it slow down? Please slow down. It's not going to, though. But today's video, it is April. So I am going to be doing my March hits. I actually don't have any misses this time around. I was not really buying a whole lot of new makeup this time. I, If you guys didn't notice, I have taken just a little bit of a break. It's been a couple weeks since I uploaded. You guys are probably like, um, is that out of the ordinary? <laughs> but yeah, I took a little bit of a break. I literally have not filmed a video in like a month because the last video that you guys saw was pre-filmed. So I took a little bit of a like mental break. Things have just been crazy in my life and I've been so busy and just so tired and I haven't been feeling like coming home and filming and editing. So anyways, enough rambling. If you want to see this video and see what my hits are for the month of March, then please stay tuned and I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. So the first product that I want to mention is been like... This product's been out for quite some time, but I actually used it to film this makeup look or to do this makeup look today. I actually did film this and this video will probably be up maybe next week. I don't know. But this is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And this I have had in my collection for quite some time. And I actually have the, this is the medium to dark and I have the light to medium one as well. But I've been loving this one for this contour shade here recently because I have the Curvy Girl Ebony Bronzer. But I've just noticed that that is really, really red on me sometimes. And if you put just... A little bit too much it can be a lot and so I've been wearing the wet n wild photo focus foundation and that is already red on its own and one day I put the covergirl bronzer on top of that and I looked like I didn't know what I was doing so we'll just keep it at that so this is not as red it has a little bit more of like a gray tone like you can still see some reds in there but it's not as bad as the covergirl one so i can get away with this one a little bit better it looks a little bit more natural when i'm bronzing with it and this is just an overall good palette to have in your collection as well as the light to medium palette but i've really really been diving into it for that shade only the next product that i want to mention is new uh this was one of milani's new products and when i tell you this product is bomb i am also wearing it today this is the milani rose glow stellar lights highlighter palette this product is bomb and it actually reminds me a lot of the nicole guerrero anastasia palette with the way the formula feels of the highlighters because it's not like a it's not like the wet and wild highlighter that i told you guys about last month it's a little bit different it's like that more kind of glittery kind of chalk chunky chalky feel but they are wet okay like they're wet they are beautiful that was that middle shade and i'll just swatch them for you guys since um i'm already wearing the one i'm probably not gonna be wearing this edge shade here but they are so pigmented so creamy like they look even better on the skin like i'm wearing a combination of the middle one and the end one it's actually sat in my drawer for a little bit because i was waiting to film my milani one brand tutorial and i just decided to try it just this morning and i was like i have to mention this today and actually the colors are called pearl which is very very indicative of that color golden quartz and rose gold so those are very very like obvious names for colors so you can kind of tell which ones go with which easier that way love this palette the next product i want to mention is not new to me i've actually had it for 
probably a few months now. I actually got it because I did not have any mascara on that day at work. And I was like, I need some mascara. So I'm going to go run to Target, get some mascara real quick. And so I had heard about this once in one video and I decided to try it because I don't like buying the same mascaras at the drugstore because there's so many to try. So I like to try to switch it up and buy different ones if that makes sense. But this is the L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. This is the waterproof formula. Now I have had this on earlier and this is bomb like this really does make you look like you have false lash extensions on because it separates your lashes but it also gives it like a nice voluminous feel and it just makes them look fake like I think it has the false fibers in it because it's called false fibers lashes so I love it it's just a very simple ordinary wand but it's really nice packaging like this is some of the best packaging that i've seen actually from the l'oreal line it's like really nice and sleek and gold and it just looks really nice and i love it like it actually sat in my collection for a while as well <laughs> but i've just recently started using it again and love it again i actually mentioned this in my last hits and misses video but i was saying that i needed to get a new color just to see how i felt about it so it was like a question mark and y'all i actually really do love this product to me it is more comparable to the tarte shape tape than that makeup revolution the one that everybody was comparing Maybelline instant age rewind and eraser dark circles which i've already talked about i did a video on it i will have those linked in the video and down in the description box below so you guys can go check them out but this is in the color tan now so before I had hazelnut and I am wearing it today so this gives me a very bright under eye look more full coverage uh, I'm able to like really maneuver it and buffer it in I've actually been wearing it every day even though it's lighter I apply a more lighter coverage so that way it's not like a super bright under eye full face you know bam glam look every day in your face like today um so i have made it a more wearable concealer and i just love it i love the fact that i was able to get a another color now hazelnut is still a great color but this is definitely more of that two shades above my skin tone I'm going to give me that nice highlighted under eye that I'm looking for. So I actually turned out that I really, really like this. I don't know if I mentioned this in a couple videos before this, but this is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And I actually got this for a free like perk with Ulta purchase. And I've actually really been loving this. I'm definitely going to get the full size of it. This mascara gives a lot of volume to your lashes. So it's definitely a lot different from the false fiber lashes because because this isn't something that I'm going to apply to give me separation. This is something that I'm going to apply to give me volume. So if I want my lashes really thick, really voluminous, almost kind of like chunky and <laughs> like stuck together, this is probably what I would go for. Uh, I like to keep this in my bag because it's just like so handy. I wish these were like I wish the travel sizes were a little bit more inexpensive because sometimes they're more convenient than the full sizes because you could literally throw things like mascara and lip products and powders in your bag. But sometimes if you buy all of these, like you might as well just have bought the full size. So moving on now to kind of like skincare and random faves because I only have really one skincare product or body care product. This is the Nivea Moisturizing Body Wash and Cream Smooth and it says care for a dry skin. I cannot talk today. It says care for dry skin, rich shea butter formula. So I did not get onto Nivea body washes until late last year. I had heard about them. I heard about their lotion and everything. And I had the in shower body lotion or body wash or whatever it's called. And that really does work. And it makes your skin feel so soft before you get out of the shower. But I never tried their body washes. So I decided to pick this one up when they were having like the $2 sale. And I picked up this one and the other one that I don't really like the smell of anymore. But this one is my favorite one. This is my third bottle now. And I go through this stuff because it smells so good and it leaves you smelling so clean. Like I like a clean smelling, like a clean smell when I get out of the shower now. So 
love this stuff. The next favorite that I have to mention is a hair product. And I've been kind of going back and forth about hair videos and do I want to mention hair products and not do hair videos. Like I've been going back and forth. And if you guys have any input, let me know down in the comments below because I kind of want to just mention hair products that I really like, but then I'm like, but nobody's gonna see me use them on my hair, so how do they even know I'm using them? I don't know, but this is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Perfect Edges, and I think I've mentioned this. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned the Perfect Edges before because this is all I've been using as edge controls. As gels, I've been using my Gorilla Snot, but for like an edge control when my hair is straight, or pretty much, yeah, when my hair is straight, I like the cream of nature edge control this is the one that's extra hold so they came out with a black one and they came out with an extra hold one i love both of them <laughs> this one i love a little bit better than the black one just because like i literally like put this on my edges a little bit before i filmed this video and i didn't tie them down and it like is laying my edges down they're not like laid as if i would have tied my hair down but they're like kind of just shaped they're like shaped and tamed. And I kind of like that look a little bit better. Like kind of like if you had like a fresh press, but it's like a day old. That's kind of like how I like my edges. <laughs> I don't like them to be like super duper sleek all the time, but kind of like tamed. To me, it looks a little bit more natural. Like your, your edges are naturally laying like that. That's kind of how I like the look. So I love this. Um, I guess it just has a stronger formula than the original and they still sell the original and they sell the black version and they sell this version so okay so i have a couple more favorites that i want to mention a couple more rando favorites i should say the next one is these glasses and they're a little bit dirty so excuse the dirt but these glasses are from amazon actually and they are really nice because they remind me a lot of the desi glasses and you guys can see all my mess that i'm looking at in front of me but yeah they remind me a lot of the key desi high key glasses and so that's why i got them because i actually had some high keys and uh long story short they flew off of my car and onto the road and there went my very expensive high key glasses so I actually found these on Amazon and I will leave a link down in the description box below where I got them in the seller on Amazon because they were only like 12 bucks so I was like you cannot beat that and I don't know if you guys can tell you probably can't tell but it has the silver reflective lenses it's not obviously it's not black because you can see the reflection so it's like the silver reflective lenses and they just remind me so much of those glasses like colors instead of buying those even though i probably will buy those eventually but these are very good like similar dupe to those for only 12 dollars so if you are looking for some and you don't want to spend all that money then try these out okay guys so if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up because you know i love recording favorites videos for you guys and i don't plan on stopping because i love sharing what i love for the month and if you have anything that you love for the month definitely let me know down in the comment section below as always thank you guys so much for watching please thumbs up <laughs> as always thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my videos so i know that you want to see more of what i'm doing and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.